Hello and welcome. My name is Nilos. This is episode 53 of our Intel Smart Tutorial Let's Play Base. So this is another episode where we summarize what has been happening in the last week of streaming on the space. And we're getting really close to the end goal, the launching the rocket. And at this point, I actually start uh, questioning myself in terms of the angel space. Yes, it's fine that it ends with a rocket or, or I think it actually is designed maybe too much to watch the rocket because there's such a gap from the yellow science where you just get everything and until you get space science that it feels like yes you've reached the end target and not like oh the next level of the game starts. So I don't think I'll be uh, playing very far beyond the rocket launches. I will be launching a couple of hundred rockets, I think, just to see the whole base operational and uh, identify some of the bottlenecks, see if my RoboBlock system works. but. Before that, we're going to have to take a look at what we built in that episode. So I'm going to be running around now because I have a good look at this. This is great and it could actually be a lot better. But what we noticed during the streams is that if I have more than four exoskeletons Mark IV, Mark III, then does it say what my running speed is? No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, if I do that, then, then it starts looking really bad on screen. So I have to run a bit slower, which means we get a bit more chance to enjoy. So the last of the summary episodes was focusing at the construction of the final metals. So we had we had the tungsten, we have the different tungsten carbide and copper tungsten, nitinol, invar. The one thing we were missing, also silver, was electrum. We just did that. That's really simple. Just get some gold in, mix it with Silver, this is in an older version, in a new version of Bob that has been removed, but I don't dare upgrade my mods once I'm in the middle of a series that never ever goes well. So with that brought in, I was able to build like the better machine, the best damn machines there are, the electric furnaces, the green circuits, all that, the green, green assembly machines, and everything has now been upgraded to green machines, all except the science, but the science is not really relevant right now. Which means that we now run around and just upgrade everything to that. And that means, okay, so after that has been created, then I started looking at what we needed. This is where we get satellite. Yes. So for the satellite, satellite is actually really, really the bottleneck or the, the gates for for everything because yes you get the rocket control the low density rocket fuel even though rocket fuel is annoying then you still can get those three things but the problem is that you actually need these as well and if i start looking at solar panels mark three i remember i need a hundred of these every time and they're not cheap like look at the silicon here green circuits titanium and this is where i need the electrum also this part i need more silver more glass more electronic circuits yeah they're they're going to use a lot of materials Likewise, for the radars Mark V, that needs the electronic processing boards, the nitinol. That's why we need the nitinol as well. All of these things. Um, it's not that many, but the fact that I just need some means that I have to do it. And then the silver sink batteries. So let's have a look at where we built the silver, silver sink batteries. Running over, so you can see up here, this is not really done, but it can easily be upgraded. Let's do that as well. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Whee! Hmm. Disappointing. That's working. And very, very valuable to do. In the grand scheme of things, this will not be relevant now. Okay, moving on. We'll get some more on the way back. And is this it? Nope. That was the other one. Cat the lithium iron. So a silver sink. Pretty easy to make. Requires some random things. Zinc plate. We don't have zinc plate, but I do have zinc ingots. So I just make this teeny tiny little thing. Easy to make, easy to do. There's no point in making it bigger because the only thing that zinc plates are used for. If I take zinc plate, it's only used for one item and that's the silver zinc, so I make it on site. Likewise, the silver oxide, silver oxide only have one component. It has two different ways, uh, one make, make it, silver nitrate. Silver nitrate comes from processed silver, comes from silver ore, and the nitric acid, fine. 
So that's what we do here. Now I also make some rocket booster because I don't know. It's just nice to have some rocket fuel here and there or rocket booster fuel. It's very easy to make now that I think of it because I both have the nitric and the ammonia. I just realized that I had all I needed here for the ammonium nitrate and the thing figured why not just make it, you know? Yeah, okay, good. But that's not why we brought it in. We brought the nitric acid in here and the ammonia we brought in by accident, getting silver oxide going in here and to get with this. So we get the silver zinc batteries. They are also used for hmm, something here. Probably the batteries, I would guess. Let's run up north a bit to get some better items here. Okay, better modules. So we move up and then we have the first tier of modules and the second tier of modules. Boom. And boom, we have 500. Like it, you know, just greed is good. I take 2200 more. This is the ha what happens with the end game in Angel's Mods or Bob's Mods. Sorry, this is the Bob's Mods. This is not Angel's Mods doing it. This is Angel's Mods uh, where things just go absolutely crazy. I can scale this one up as well. Okay, that's already done. Then I just ran out of modules and they take six each. So this is way overscaled, but I don't care. I can go further down. So this is also, I don't think I have enough. Nope, I don't. More, more, more. It's just basically everything that can be modulated will be modulated. And that means we now get, we now have silver oxide, then it's a matter of building the next thing. So what I decided was I wanted the rocket silos to be in the middle. Let's run in and have a look at the rocket silos first. Okay, you're just building stuff. Here we go. These are the rocket silos. So I'm going to build them to a kind of absurd level here. This produces nine rocket parts per second way too much of course but they have a 20 something second animation and that doesn't get speed sped up so this is what i'm doing here requesting things in all the items everything is coming in but we'll look at the constituents here what is also really important from the base game normally you can get 40 percent improved productivity here while with angels march you get plus 160. this makes a huge difference because normally you need 729 products plus the productivity bonus then you get the 1000 you need it but here you need 320 and 34 i think 384 384 which is a huge difference that means we only need 384 in order to make 1000 and made make a single rocket that's good but that means it becomes even more accentuated that if each rocket is only 300 rockets then these 100 rocket mod control units are actually going to be the uh, the bottleneck so let's start looking at the other components we have for the satellite that we built basically i may, i've decided that i wanted to build oh okay something's going on here um build this here There really is no no reason not to do it because this is where I get most of the materials in. So I want to get it here. I'm going to need a lot of this. Do I have any legacy materials that I need to get rid of that one? I get, need to get rid of now that I'm here. Looks fine. That's one item. And then I bring these over to this location, which is now making... Oh, okay. Now making... Uh, machines one two three with a module here you can see it produces 3.7 3.7 per second and there are three of them calc i think i've done some i think i did some calculations here 3.7 each times four that's 14.8 now i need 100 for each rocket so 100 divided by 14.8 is pretty is 6.7 uh rockets per sec per minute that's what I'm going to go for. So that's going to be my bottleneck here, or my, my benchmark in this context. And that everything has to revolve around that, that number. 
and that goes up to this location and go up here. You can see these are waiting. There's quite a few. And here's the salsa. Not as much, but enough. Then we have the other items. I've decided to build those around around this location so I get get my modules. Yeah, this this is kind of a mistake, but whatever. So low density, rocket control, heat shielding, heat shielding and low density are incredibly easy. Look at the heat shielding here. Heat shielding, that's tungsten carbide. We have that produced offsite. Silicon nitride, well, silicon nitride just needs some silicon. And now we have, I've started tuning this way better so that it's this small unit here produces, what is it again? 800? That's 700, that's 1400. So 1400 of each, each of these. Pretty damn good. That's, uh, and that's definitely more than whatever this needs. So this is crafting. Again, lots and lots of silicon nitrate going in here together with the carbine and everyone's happy. That goes up into the medium one. Similar thing here with the low density. Not much going on here. Plastic, we got it. The aluminum is uncoiled and the titanium plate is uncoiled as well. They're being uncoiled here and going in and boom, done, happy. So those are the easiest two and then it gets a slightly more complex, but it's not actually that bad if I look at it here. This part, again, everything is at a six, uh, 30 second cycle, but this needs a lot of materials. I'm gonna monitor this one because I'm not really sure about the ratios. I have done just basically one module on everything, which makes it uh, go pretty fast. Let's be honest about this. Each of these, yeah, 9.67 per second, but is also consuming way more than I have available. So that's, it, it's, it shouldn't be these, it'll be the robots, I guess, or if one of the materials just cannot keep up, but that's, we can only see that once the whole base is, is uh, started. So that's three of the four items, right? So let's have a look. The best way to look at it is from here. That's the rocket control, the low density, the solar panels, the silver zinc, and the radar MK5. Then I started on the absolute most horrible item in all of Angel's mods, the rocket fuel. Ta-da, rocket fuel. So each of these is horrible. Now I wanted to build it according to the same pattern like this. This one is, let's actually go over here and take a look at the crafting speed of this one. So this is 4.2 per second. So I will again go back to the calculator at a ratio of 4.2 times 12 of them. Yeah, that's 50.4. So I need 50.4 since this here is consuming, well, granted it is consuming less rocket fuel, but if I just assume that it's the same, that means I also have to produce 50 per second of these. Okay, it's still spamming up there. Uh, yeah. So this one is 5.65. But if I produce 50 of these, then if you look at it, it's the difference here is that these can only only take four modules. Well, the assembly machines here can take six. And that actually makes quite a bit of difference. Because now I have to build it way bigger. So in order to build 50 of these, I need all of this, yeah? And that needs all of this. Again, this is moduled, go and, but this is only one part of it. Like this, this is uh, the ro rocket oxidizer capsule. And we need one rocket oxidizer capsule and then one of the, I don't even know what they're called, rocket fuel capsule. Let's go from here. Rocket oxidizer comes from nitric and dinitrogen tetroxide, which is okay because the dinitrogen tetroxide comes from nitrogen monoxide to nitrogen, nitrogen monoxide, but nitrogen monoxide also comes to dioxide and to nitric. So it's all the same. It all comes from adding, making ammonia out of hydrogen and nitrogen and mixing oxygen back in, which means it's water and air I need to do. Make all of that, put it in, everyone's happy. However, that was the easy one. Now we got to the worst one, the one that's really bad. 
This cannot be wired. Each of these is producing 15. Oh, let's do some calculations here. So let's say I need 50.4. Let's do 50. That's what I need of, of these. Um, so I just want to illustrate how bad this is. So in order for us to get 50, I will divide by 5.65 and multiply by 21.74. Yes, please. That means I need, in order to do 50, I need 192 of the other ones per second. Does this correspond to what I'm producing here? This one is producing 15, so this is 15.38 times how many are there? 13 times 13. Yes, that's 199.94 pretty much 200. Excellent. So everyone's happy, right? Now let's do the same one for this. Okay, they're also doing 15.958 times 13. Yeah, okay. So I just need 13, except 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is all I have, because that's all I can do. Because let's save a look. So each one to make 15 of these, I need a lot of everything of hydrogen and a lot of dimethyl hydrogen a lot of hydrogen 30 of these for each two rocket capsule is the other one also a rocket capsule yeah so you can start seeing if i need 2330 uh, dimethyl hydrogen times 13. We're already up to 3,000 of these per second. And then we go down here and say, all right, all right, if I need these, dimethyl hydrogen per second, 3,000, then I also need 3,000 here. Go for the gas monochloramine. Oops, that one. This one we're talking about, this is 3,000. That means this one, each 50 goes times six and there's it's just i started calculating here like all right i need 1.6 of that i need 1.2 of those okay but in order to make those 1.2 i'm gonna need a bit more 1.4 of that and i need some dimethyl and then i got even more and it, it turned out that i needed 13.5 thousand ammonia per second to do half of it. So I'm actually upwards of, or to do a bit more than half. Granted, it's more than half. It, it can support seven of these, I think. Uh, maybe a bit more than seven. Let's see. This one is producing 1667. And then it's divided by how much this one is consuming. Divide by 230, yeah. That's 7.2. So it can produce 7.2. So I need to multiply by not quite two, but almost, which means this one in order to run or for this to run, I need 13,500 ammonia per second. I mean, just listen to that number, which means I'm going to find a way to make 25,000, 25,000 ammonia per second. And that's the challenge that where I got stuck and then I fell asleep and I got frustrated and started crying and then I ended the last stream. So that's going to be the topic of the next stream. What I managed to do in the last bit of sanity I had left was make this little unit here. And this little unit is absolutely fantastic. It's just crammed around one of these modules and it delivers everything we want. So it gets nitrogen and oxygen or air in here goes into nitrogen and oxygen it goes in here into the chemical plant and they get split. So the oxygen gets removed because I don't need oxygen. The nitrogen goes in here. I'm producing two times 800. That goes in here. This is producing. I will keep these in separate pipes because they will actually be polluted or they will be, they'll not be polluted. They'll be, um, they'll be constrained if I put all of it in the same. So the, each one of these can produce 1,600. 67. And if I need to do, to get 25,000 per second, I also need a lot of belts. I'm one, two, six, seven. Then I need basically need 15 of, of these here, which corresponds to seven of these modules. But I'm just going, I just went a bit overboard and just saw how much I could put in here. Unfortunately, it's really difficult to make it any kind of symmetry in here. Um, but it's it's possible to easily get seven or eight in here 
And then that's where we get stuck because that needs to feed up to basically twice this size somehow with the uh, belts un untangling so they don't uh, overlap. Getting in here just so we can produce 192 of 192 of each of these so I can get 50 here. That's the essence of it. 50 of these, which goes in and launches a rocket more than every 10 seconds. That's the whole concept. A rocket every 10 seconds and then with a bit of buffers. So that's going to be the next episode. Next episode, we will definitely launch a rocket. Uh, we'll sort this out, get some kind of thing built. And after that, we'll start tweaking and turning the base and trying to s figure out where the bottlenecks are and fix those. I know there are some where I'm just having a single single lane like this for example they're just not keeping up but that's easy to fix it's gonna be interesting to see so i'm not gonna fix it too much in advance i'm just gonna let it rip and then see where where things start to start hurting and what we can do about it so with that thank you very much for joining i hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, summary episode and that you'll be checking back for the last two live streams next week and then i have uh, the next live stream uh, series is already prepared and i'm looking so much forward to it you can get more information about it uh, during the stream. I'll be uh, talking about it and maybe even sharing the trailer for that uh, series as well. So thank you very much. See you in the live stream and thank you for your support and your engagement. Cheers. Bye.